What's going on, guys? You know what? We've got a VIP in the house, so let's get right to it. He is the screenwriter of Thor, X-Men First Class, and the upcoming Power Rangers film, Zack Stentz. Zack. Thank you for being here, sir. Well, thank uh, you. And by the way, I co-authored all of those works with my writing partner, Ashley Edward Miller. I'm a screenwriter, not the screenwriter. Gotcha. Ashley Edward Miller, we're calling you out. Come in here. And uh, no, you're welcome anytime, Ashley, and we're big fans. You actually agreed to watch the Honest Trailer with the creators of the Thor Honest Trailer. Uh, are you excited about that? I am excited about that. You see, like Michael Corleone, my hand isn't shaking. So, um, Zach, uh, Thor, what kind of pressure was there to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and get that right? There was a lot of pressure, but the interesting thing is they already knew at that point we're building towards the Avengers. They said, guys, if you fail at everything else, give us a villain as good as Magneto. The thing that made Loki so close to our heart as a villain was that if you looked at the events of Thor from his perspective, he was the hero. He was the one who was saving the kingdom from his hot-headed brother who wasn't ready. To his great credit, that was the that was something that uh, that Kenneth Branagh was, mm -hmm. was very much down with. You know, at the end of the day, what we always said we were doing is we were telling a story about two boys who both want their father to love them. Were there any other mandates or just uh, thoughts from Marvel that we need this to happen? The problem that we kept encountering is that Thor didn't really have a force of opposition working against him when he was on Earth. What we were pushing was to have S.H.I.E.L.D. be the force of opposition. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of skepticism from the Marvel people at first because they were like, well, but S.H.I.E.L.D. are the good guys. And that was something that they went from being skeptical about mm -hmm. to really getting on board with. At the time, they were still renegotiating uh, Sam Jackson's uh, contract. Mm -hmm. and, and we said, well, how about Coulson? He was he was really cool in the first Iron Man movie. It's uh -huh. like he kind of popped, and you know we we ended up putting all kinds of Easter eggs in, like a you know a sniper, a shield sniper named Barton. I, I think what we're most proud of was uh -huh. the fact that, as we said going in, there are a lot of different ways of making a bad Thor movie. Yeah, there are only a couple of ways of making a good Thor movie, of making something that's not ridiculous and campy and like the Golan Globus uh, Masters of the Universe movie. Yes. Um, and I'd like to think that we found one of the good ways. So Zach, we are very excited to watch the Thor Honest Trailer with you. But first I have to say, it's been a long, strange trip uh, getting the you long and winding the road. Yes. I, I was, you know, I was going for a different 60s band, but <laughs> I like yours um, better. So uh, you kind of uh, got on our radar with this tweet and uh, I'll, I'll just read it and we can okay. uh, let me know your I'll thoughts. Try not to be too embarrassed, go ahead. <laughs> you shouldn't be. So you tweeted, fair warning, if you link to one of these insufferable honest trailers videos, I will unfollow you. Wow, I must have been in a bad mood. <laughs> I was unfairly lumping you guys together with some other people who I will not will not mention by name here. And after I got in the dialogue with you guys, I, I went back and watched a bunch of watched a bunch of honest trailers uh -huh. again. And what I what I realized about you guys is that there is it's like yes, you take your shot sometimes, but that there's a real love for the material behind. behind That's it. so nice to hear you say and because we are all fans and just huge fans of this work. So let's go ahead and undo all that goodwill and watch the Honest Trailer together, okay? I can't wait. Andy Signor, the creator hey, of Honest Trailer. Hey, big fan. Dan so, Merle, nice the editor of Honest Excellent. Trailers. I love the Lego hey, state thank you. Spencer Gilbert, uh, he is the writer of okay. so, this Honest Trailer. <laughs> this is awkward. All right. Prepare for a film that only exists so non-nerds will recognize the blonde guy in The Avengers, Thor. You've seen great superhero films. You've seen terrible superhero films. Now, prepare for a superhero film that's just kind of, eh. I mean, I guess they did the best they could adapting a comic book about a bratty space god. See, I mean, I kind of said that. <laughs> it was a tough job. He's an idiot demigod prince with a magical hammer that really needs to buy a vowel. Mjolnir. 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 Okay, so you gotta stop, gotta, okay. gotta pause here. Yeah. Kenneth Branagh 
actually is like Milner. It's like that's just hard to say. <laughs> like, can we name it something else? Would the fanboys string me up if we did that? Yes. Like, yes, yeah. can they work? <laughs> okay, we shan't be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Meet Loki, Thor's evil stepbrother, who will stop at nothing to betray his adopted father with the help of his real father in order to betray his real father to impress his adopted father? Uh, that makes even less sense than his plan from the Avengers. Not a great plan. Pause it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What was Loki's plan? Loki's plan all along was to was to essentially lure the frost giants in and kill them to to impress Odin. It's all about impressing Dad at the uh, that he's the that he's the worthy one at the at the end of the day. I I would say the Avengers plan, where the third act consists of him riding a jet ski. Um, through Manhattan, while everyone else does the fighting, um, you know, I, I, I think ours compares pretty favorably to that. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Odin, Thor and Loki's dad, who pretty much guarantees that one of his kids will grow up to resent the other. Only one of you can ascend to the throne, but both of you were born to be king. See, this is all true. We referred to uh, Odin as uh, the Fred Sanford of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> and that, no, seriously, he treats his sons not so well. And when one of them calls him on his sh he pretends to, uh, he, he feigns illness. Uh, Elizabeth, I'm coming to, I'm coming to join you. Riga, it's the big one. Starring Thunder from Down Under, Pokemon, The Godfather, Idris Elbo, Lord Zed from Power Rangers, oh, oh. and Blue Blue, and Portmandia, Thor's obligatory movie. So, Loki dies at the end and comes back to life by the end of the credits? That's gotta be some kind of record. What was the end credit scene? Was that did you help with that, or was that done after you? That was done after. That was. So you weren't I think involved. Joss in might have. I think Joss might have directed that. You know, but it was always going to. You know, it was always going to end with with you know Loki seems to be lost, and then it's like oh no, there he is. Well, I just want to thank you yeah. for yes. coming for for oh god being so, such yeah. a, you. The first tweet was completely fair. Thank you for looking <laughs> mm -hmm. this up, and we are big fans, and we're so gracious for you to come. I've been converted to the church. <laughs> yes, of honest trailer. We all yes. really like yes. Thor. I really like. Like Thor, because oh, I, I think too. you had a really tough job of making that guy relatable in the universe, and you did a fantastic job. I think. Absolutely, guys. What movie do you want to see Zach Stentz right next? Uh, tell us in the comments section below. The best answer, we'll send you a Screen Junkies T-shirt. Again, uh, I want to thank you, Zach. Uh, hit him up on Twitter at Muzak. Muzak. Uh, M U S E Z A C K. Right. Um, it's a pun. <laughs> oh, Thank yeah. you, sir. Fantastic work. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks again, so brother. Thanks again, man. Thank you. Um, now I'm going to uh, see if Thanks, I Andy Signor, Dan Merle, uh, Spencer Gilbert. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Hold on. Ooh, uncomfortable. <laughs>